Well, here's a quick silky picks tip. Um, with the crop tool, which you can get to with uh, Command T on a Mac or Control T on a PC, um, by default it shows you a regular crop area. This is useful. Um, this button here is useful if you're doing any rotations or um, shift lens effects where you're trying to correct for geometry because it gives you a lot more flexibility because it shows you the rest of the image to, to, uh, to crop um, and so you can kind of tweak things that way. Um, but also certain lens combinations and certain uh, with certain sensors uh, actually capture more information than what's shown in the default crop. And so this is a picture taken with an Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II with a 12 to 100 millimeter lens um, set of 12 millimeters and that happens to be one of those situations where we actually have some information that's captured in the raw file that's not showing in the image. So if we just click on this little um, extend button you can see that area up through here and if we wanted to we get a little more of the CN tower um, we get a little bit more of this side um, we've actually uncropped the image and gotten more um, more real estate basically out of it which is very useful if you have uh, something where you uh, maybe almost cut off a foot or um, something like that where you can just get that little extra bit of space back. Uh, this doesn't work with all lenses, doesn't work with all uh, cameras, but uh, when it does um, it can be uh, very useful. hope you found this helpful. Feel free to uh, like it on Facebook or like it on uh, YouTube or on Facebook and uh, provide any feedback in the comments. Thank you and uh, I'll see you again in a little bit.